please welcome to stage executive producer and star of ABC's Shark Tank, CEO of Ciderus, Robert Hatcherbeck. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. I love going to a conference where people drink beer during the conference. So welcome, everyone, to Devs Unleashed. Yeah. I'm Robert Herjavec from Shark Tank. I'm also a Jira customer. Any Jira customers out there? A couple. I just found out backstage I'm not using it enough to its potential, so I'm hoping to learn more. I'm also thrilled to be the lead judge for our Devs Unleashed competition. Throughout their 20-year history, Atlassian's held innovation as a key component to achieve their mission to, unlock, to unleash the potential in every team. Atlassian put out the call for teams to unleash their creativity and create a working software application, building a game that leverages data from Atlassian products such as Jira, Bitbucket, and Forge in the fun, interesting ways that we're going to get to see today. And we've had over 70 submissions. Today, we have three finalists who will be judged on visual appeal, sound design, wow factor, fun, and the use of Atlassian products. First place wins $35,000. which will be given to you as beer vouchers. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking, cash. Second place takes home 20,000 and third place receives $12,000. But before we meet the teams, let's meet my fellow judges. Head of Engineering, Agile and DevOps Atlassian, Robert Crone. Se Robert, yeah, I think that was your team applauding for you back there. Senior Program and Operations Manager at Spotify, Nora Beresky. Nora, welcome. Chief Revenue Officer at Atlassian, Cameron Deitch, and where is he? There he is. Hello, Cameron. I love how Cameron did the dramatic slow walk. <laughs> and senior developer advocate at Slack, Jeremy, uh, Jeremiah Peoples. <laughs> Welcome. Jeremiah was in the Air Force, but he was not a pilot. You don't have to ask him that. Now, we've asked each team to prep a 10-minute pitch that includes a demo of their game. After their pitch, the judges will have five minutes of Q&A with the team. Once all three teams have pitched, judges will have five minutes to deliberate and choose a winner. With that, let's unleash the developers, grr, and meet the teams. Our first team is all about motivating teammates to stay on top of their work. In this game, players advance to the next level based on the state of JIRA issues in the JIRA board. Please welcome Team Ticket Adventures. Welcome, guys. Hello, everybody. We're very happy to be here. We are Ticket Adventures. My name is Paula. And I'm Gustavo. And we are just half of the team. So, just run straight. So, we are two developers, one PM, one cat. So who's doing the presentation? <laughs> the PM, of course. Uh, we are from Chile, and this is the first time we're here in Germany. So again, very happy to be here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we decided to make a very simple game in the way you play it, but it's complex in the integrations with the Atlassian projects, sorry, products. It's a very side scrolling to the game, like Mario Brothers, so I thought it was important, well, we thought it was important that everybody could just jump straight into playing it without having to learn exactly how to play it. 
And we also focus on having each adventure or each stage based on the uh, progress each developer or any member of the team has in their current board. So the more you work on a project and update your tickets, the game's going to be easier. You're gonna get more rewards, and if you're not working that hard, if you're late, the game will be harder. That was, yeah, so, I don't know, work hard. <laughs> <laughs> and why? Well, like I said, developer, PM, so back home, we talk back and forth about things, projects, yeah, I know, we're nerds. And it's a struggle for the PMs. Like, Jira is a great product, but sometimes people forget to update the tickets. I get to the daily, and there people say, oh yeah, I did that, let me just close it. I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. So we thought, okay, we want to make a game that's fun, but like I said, not far removed from a project. So it's very, very linked. And so that you don't have that much fun playing, you have to have more fun doing your actual work. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and that would make my job and every PM jobs easier, but also rewarding the developers. We included, and Gustavo is going to talk a bit more about that, but we included uh, rewards in the game that should be real 3D in life rewards so that you get real motivation besides just keeping your PM happy. So uh, in this first iteration, we included Jira and Confluence. So like I said, every part of your uh, progress in your board is reflected in the game. Uh, you have bugs, you have bloggers, but Gustavo is going to show you the technical part. Once you finish, you get a leaderboard in Confluence so you can share with your teams and everyone outside the project so that your progress is not just related or restricted to a project but can be shared outside so you can share that in your company or well, with your friends. So now Gustavo is going to do the demo for you. I'm going to. All right. Ooh. Okay, so we will go through two scenarios to show you the power of ticket adventures. So, the first one, I call it the project manager's ideal because we have only one ticket in progress, a lot of tickets done, not a lot of bugs or late issues, so everything looks nice. And now let's open Ticket Adventures. So the game is integrated <laughs> with the user profile, so if you have an avatar, you can see your face there. You can also see the name of the project, which is important because if you are in many projects, each project will be different depending on your progress. The game will be different. So we have six tasks done, and we also do not only consider if the task is done or not done. We, only, we also recognize which kind of task it is, if it is a task, a story, or an epic. And in the other side, we identify if it is a bug, a blocker or it is a late ticket. All of that goes to a complex and boring algorithm that generates the, the stage for you. <laughs> okay, so you must step on the box, not touch it, or you will lose. You will start again if you touch a bug. So by the way, it says done, not John. Many people think it says John, but no. Yeah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> and the hero had your face. See that green avatar? Okay. John. Okay. So after finishing, you see your yeah. Thank you. Okay, of course it failed, but let me show you. Yeah. Let me show you the second one. Yeah, you are very lucky that it failed because I played the game like 2,000 times and failed yeah. once. But okay, <laughs> let's go to the second project. So this one is different because we can see many late issues, more bugs on it, so now the game will be harder. Let's see if I can finish it this time. 
<laughs> yeah, I created it, but sometimes it gets very hard. So yeah. Yeah, please. <laughs> Yeah, so we see <laughs> much more difficult one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it is very hard. Yeah. That happens when you're late. Yeah. No, I should close some tickets. Actually, I can I can finish this. <laughs> Come on. Go! Let's go! Oh. Woo! Ah. Can do it. You there. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay, here is the leaderboard in Confluence, and it is cool because we are using the mentioning tool, so you will receive an email, and as the leaderboard lives outside the game, everyone that's watching it can see it, and any other applications can integrate using the same forge with this, because the data is not in the game, but outside. So now back to Paula. Okay. So uh, this was our first game, so first we had a lot of fun doing this. And for next iterations, we would like to give more power to the VM so that uh, as a project manager, you can uh, select when the leaderboard will be published, when people will be able to see the score, for example. Also, giving different scores to tickets in different projects, if they're more important or not. And then also add real prices, like we said. So you can have uh, incentives inside your company, so you can have a lot of friendly competition, or maybe not that friendly, <laughs> the reward is cool. And that's what we were like aiming to, but uh, well, time limitations, but yeah, I hope you enjoy our game, so thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. I, ju I just have one question. When you were doing the game and you fell behind, you automatically got a second project manager. Yeah. Is that like the real world where you just get, <laughs> when you fall behind, they give you more developers and more project managers? No. no. Okay. Stupid, but All right. Thank happens. you, Ticket Adventures. That was a great pitch. I think you deserve a toast. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right. Let's hand it over to our judges for questions. Robert, let's start with you. So uh, at the beginning of the game, you look at the board and then you populate the game based on that board. Is that, is that how it works? Yes. Um, so what if something happens while you're playing? Do you have any real-time interaction? Like, let's say someone moves an issue. Yeah, no, it is picking the status at the beginning, the current state, and based on that, it's generating the levels. OK, all right, great, thank you. What's the application of this in real life? Do you guys play it at Sprint Review? Or is it like a once uh, a Yeah, we did it first on a Kanban project. So the idea is move to the next steps so that the project manager can decide if you want to play this in Kanban or Sprint, basically to see where you will reward your team. Nice. Yeah. I like it. It's, it's practical. Thank you. Cameron? I, I love to hear on the, the iconography. <laughs> you know, just, like, yeah. Come up with a bunch of new cool. These are not part of Atlassian design guidelines, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, Cameron, are these your colors? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 so unique to Task Adventures. Very cool, or Ticket Adventures. Um, what is the the late issue? Is it the little triangle? Mm -hmm. Is that a pile of poo? Yeah. <laughs> spikes. Spikes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. We, we used your, your Figma components collection as an inspiration of this. Very cool. Yeah. It's a, it's a fun story because I came with this idea of, yeah, let's use Jira Element as part of the map. And I just went to the Figma, <laughs> copy and pasted the thing on the game, and was like, no, no, this will not work. We needed to style this a bit, right? So, yeah. love it. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, first off, the game is very well done. So, congrats on that. Um, but. Where would you get the, or where, or who is responsible for the design of like the sound, the soundtrack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very well done. Thank you. Jeremy, did you, 
Did you like the sound, or are you saying you didn't like it? I heard a sneak peek of the sound yesterday, and I've been dancing to it in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, many people are saying yeah. that, that it repeats in, in their heads it's very many, many times. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was me. Plus, no, no, <laughs> not all creative minds. Me plus AI, because there's a website, an application called VoiceMod, and they have this, this small tool where you just give the text and then it plays the sound and adds the lyrics for you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But sound Yeah, shout out for the yeah. voice mod teams because this is free and I send them an email in case there's any issue with no, go and use it. Yeah. This is totally open and free. It is tuna.voicemod.com. Wow. <laughs> it, not sponsored. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if you realize this, but Camera now owns all your graphics. Like that's, that's part of coming here. Um, do you see it purely as a game, or do you see it being able to use as a training tool for new project managers? I think it can be both, mostly because of the motivation it has. Like I said, it's sometimes hard when you're a PM and you just have to be the ticket nanny for people. So I think that also having this motivation could work as a training tool, maybe to notice when uh, things are starting to get delayed so you can get ahead and say, OK, this project might be getting late. Again. Or for developers, too, so that they get a pace and a rhythm in order to keep their tickets updated. Wow. Yeah, and it, well. is harder, it is harder, sorry. It is harder than it looks, because someone that <laughs> does everything OK, then we also must offer a fun experience for him, right? Mm -hmm. So it is the discussion, okay, how hard do we make this for people that is up to date and how impossible to people who's late, right? So finding that balance is really, really, really That's challenging. Hard. But isn't being a project manager reward enough? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, listen, great job again. Congratulations. Thank you. So thank you, Ticket Adventures. You guys can leave the stage. You have to go now. We're going to bring out the next team. All right, that was really cool. I love the graphics, Cameron. Didn't you love the colors and everything? Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Um, that's our biggest issue, by the way, with uh, tickets. People don't close them. Yeah. They resolve them and they leave them open, and then I get a tracking report at the end of the month. I'm like, what the hell? Why do we have so many outstanding? Anyway, I'm <laughs> going on. Anyway, nothing brings teams together like food or beer. Team Tasky Treaty combines passion for food and streamlined projects into a cooking simulation game that is purposely casual, easy to play, but hard to master. Please welcome Team Tasky Treaty. Welcome. Oh, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> hey, honey, that depends. Have you done the task I assigned to you? <laughs> well, just kidding. We are all going to have uh, amazing treats for the tasks we do. Good afternoon, Berlin. Hi, all. We are Task Equity team. I, Tushita, the game producer of Task Equity, Abhishek, the game programmer, and two of our lovely artists, Elisaveta and Luchira, who are not here. Don't worry, they are alive. They have done an amazing work with the artwork. So, work, mood or no mood, but better with the food, right? <laughs> Think of it as uh, your teams and you just walking into a burger place and having a chill out time, where each burger represents the sprint goals. Few of the games that I'm sure we all know are our inspirations. So, Taskerity is a 2D casual game exclusively made for Atlassian products, and it's quite simple to play, and you have to uh, do your tasks, update the Jira board, and then play the game. So, your scores are on the leaderboard, and you can hope to have a lunch with the CEO. <laughs> it can also be playable in the smallest screen space, such as Confluence. And these are our game mechanics, which is like, it's efficiently time-managing game. You have to prepare and serve it, and get your high scores on the leaderboard. Our art direction and music is purposely kept subtle. So you'll see lots of shades of pinks, blues, hues, and purples, and with awesome music. So it's, like, it's very conducive to the working environment. And just like all of us, our game characters are diverse. 
we have tried to be as inclusive as possible and enabling LGBTQIQ freedom as well. And just like all of us again, they have multiple emotions. So they are happy, sad, frustrated, anxious, and sometimes indecisive. And watch out for our surprise characters as well. So let's go and just play. Uh, can we yeah, switch to the thing? So let's say we are at the beginning of a sprint where few of our tasks are actually uh, done, uh, mostly in to-do, and rest is yeah, in progress. So let's go. Do watch out for the pro tips which actually educate the player and it's like it helps with the player journey. I hope it loads. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Wi-Fi, it's the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's... it's never happened that a live demo uh, doesn't work. This is all live. Yeah. <laughs> The demo gods. <laughs> you can watch the loading screen and it's the beautification of that till then. I don't know, I'm gonna try here. Who's the professional actor? Oh, uh, <laughs> they're still fighting over it. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! So uh, the characters come one by one because we have a lot of tasks to do. Uh, that's why it's a uh, complex burgers. Uh, you really need to know how to play this in the first place there. Uh, and then yeah, you have the coffee machine, so you click on them, and yeah, the coffee mug, it goes to the coffee machine, and then you can just drag them and throw them on the customer's face. Watch out for the expressions. Uh, you have a time over on the top, that's the session time, how long this session is going to continue. And once you serve the customers well, they give you coins, which gets added to the score upstairs. That's pretty much the game loop, huh? Uh, all right, so let's go back to the slides then. Or Tushita is really enjoying so Ooh. <laughs> And <laughs> Yeah, the resources run out uh, after some time, so you have to be very good with the confluence task and bit bucket tasks. And once the timer gets over, you get a score followed by your leaderboard. And if you have done well, then you are on the top of the leaderboard. <coughs> uh, I think I have to kill the addiction here. Uh, can we go back to the slides, please? Sorry. Yeah, uh, I think we did close the game. Somewhere it's running. Oh, no, it's fine. OK. Uh, so uh, task utility is a base. Forge app, uh, it's made with Phaser 3, a 2D game engine, and it integrates all of the four products in Atlassian that we could figure out, and it's also integrated with Slack. Uh, so the magic formula, what we kind of try to do is we have a sprint performance by a team. It's a function of the to-do lists, the in-progress, and the done. So basically, your sprint smear kind of goes in as a sprint performance for the team. And then every user's performance on how well he or she is performing in that sprint kind of gives them their matrix, their numbers, which kind of helps them progress in the game better and get a higher score. A little bit de detail of the game design is to go through this chart. But we are going to go into details. Anyways, uh, the, the project is kind of progressing. So when you have a lot of tasks to do, then you have only one customer coming in, so less chance of you getting a high score. Uh, versus when you have uh, zero to do, then you have like three customers coming in. It's all uh, linearly progressed. Uh, and then based on the user's performance, they kind of get score multipliers or the difficulty of the burger changes according to that. Uh, so one of the scenarios could be something like this. So let's say you are 40% done with the sprint. Over there, uh, the team has progressed kind of in the 40% zone, so like day four. Uh, you have around 1.x moving speed for the customers. You have seven tasks to do. And the users, uh, someone is doing better, someone is not doing so great. And according to that, they kind of get the score multipliers, which will affect them. So they are always motivated to do something for the team. And whatever they do for the team kind of gets added to the game's macro uh, design. 
And towards the end of the game, you have a perfect situation where all the teammates can just go in and enjoy the play because they don't have much of to do to do. To do to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's integrated with Confluence. So again, the same principle. We try to keep it very simple so that you know it's a team and users. There's less uh, confusion. Uh, so the team spaces added or pages and blogs, they kind of give you more bonus time to play the game. And the user comments and the user generated contents gives them the resources and brings in the resource management. So you can run out of ketchup and you can't serve a customer with ketchup because you didn't do much of uh, confluence comments. Uh, with Bitbucket, kind of the same principle. This time the commits, pull requests, and branches, creation, and all those things. And they all keep getting added to the resources. So we have an infinite pool of resources and infinite things to do in Jira, and they are kind of together. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, with Slack, so once you get a high score, you achieve, uh, unlock achievement, or you beat uh, the top three contestant. In that case, uh, you can boost in Slack. Uh, it's still a text, but we are working on getting the images of the leaderboard up in Slack. Uh, next up, uh, with Ops Genie, so instead of getting the alerts and then making it a Jira ticket, we thought of creating and pushing it as a push notification. So uh, daily, we're using the Forge schedule trigger, uh, we, are, we are triggering an uh, event in Ops Genie as level five priority alert, like as information. Uh, that, yeah, somebody has played the game 15 hours a day. Uh, and it's also indication for the uh, project managers and leaders and the teammates that somebody's really addicted. So we can also <laughs> keep a check on that. Uh, yeah, quite an easy flow. Uh, so everything gets loaded at front. Jira, Confluence, Bitbucket, Data. And then you have the game session, leaderboard, and then instant new game. So the player's experience is not interrupted in any ways. Uh, yeah, some implementation examples. Uh, we are not going to go in details here, <laughs> but uh, we are using JQL, Forge Clients, and Storage, and Bitbucket, and some more Confluence, GraphQL, and CQLs. Uh, that's all. So let's go back to the game and have more fun. Can we go to the demo scenes? All right, less than a minute. So by now, you have actually oh. kind of finished? No? Okay. You have moved to the done part? You have more done, and you have like, uh, so the player experience is at its best at this level. You have customers keep, uh, coming at a faster speed, and then you have sufficient time to serve them all. And this kind of, you know, we also have like special characters like the dog, and there is one rich lady, she looks like a queen, and she comes and tips you more. <laughs> so we kind of had these special characters just to, you know, get, make you come out of your comfort zone. So I think that is it from Team Tusky Treaty, and so go on, treat your task with Tasky Treaty. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great job, guys. Great job, and the demo worked. Yay. Yay. Um, Nora, let's start with you. I'm curious what was the inspiration behind the kitchen analogy that you used? Yeah, both of us are like extremely, extreme foodies. So we are constantly thinking about eating and you know cooking and eating. And also we wanted a game which is like playable by all. So we wanted to keep it very simple, not a very even not a gamer per se can play it. So it's just click, drag and drop yep. function. So yeah. at the same time, it's a very small session, around uh, two minutes or so. So it's not too much of the production time getting wasted. And you collaborate in a team, and you kind of show that collaboration in the game as well for your team performance. Uh, so it's kind of what you are doing in the project is kind of getting narrated to the game. Uh, I mean. Do you play the game together as a team or is it individuals? No, you play as an individual and you have a shared leaderboard, so that's where they are competing against each other. Uh, but the more tasks you do in the Jira board, it's as a team collaboration, so the better the team's chances are to get easy levels in the game. On the leaderboard, do you see which team you belong to? Is there like a team competition element? To it as well? Uh, no, other than the leaderboard, nothing else. Thank you. It's only the leaderboard. Cameron? Uh, so first off, uh, very smooth on the demo issues. <laughs> that we've all been there, man. You handled it perfectly. So hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I'm sure your heart rate went to like 200 <laughs> right there. Um, so well, the, the artistry also. I mean, I'm, Everyone who knows me, who's in this audience, knows like visual design is the last thing I pay attention to. But the uh, art there was amazing. 
So whoever was doing the art was fantastic. Yeah, um, big shout out for our artist. Yeah. yeah. She's not here with us, yes. Um, the, uh, I assume I could game it pretty easy. Like if I took everything out of to-do at the end of the day and just put it into in progress, I could drag that over. Would I be able to game the system pretty easily or do you have controls for that? Uh, you mean like if you put everything from to-do to in progress, then? Yeah, if I just dragged over before the game started. And moved yeah. it back? And or, if, or if I put a bunch of comments on the bot, like we've had different scores based off of activity yeah, around yeah, stuff. Yeah, like yeah. There's no checks for, uh, you know. Yeah, other than I think the commits, uh, approval of the commits in Bitbucket, I didn't think we can anyways gotcha. control it, so. Yeah. Uh, so basically your colleagues would have to call you out for a regular. Yeah, yeah. Got it, makes sense. Yeah. Your map. So first of all, I have a lot of brothers, so I'm like really competitive, so I'm loving the leaderboard portion. <laughs> is the leaderboard only for your team or is that company wide? Uh, for now, we have only for the team, uh, f especially for that project team. Uh, but we can, you know, have, have a global, uh, global continent, whatever, uh, wherever it works. Okay. Yeah, why not? And then do you manually input your teammates, or does it pull from some type of data that's already exists? Uh, right now, it pulls the data from the Atlassian oh, nice. project. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything from the data. Great. Yeah. It's, it's a completely procedural game, and the proceduralism is all dependent on Atlassian data. There is no other configurations going on. Thank you. Robert? So I uh, really loved the way that you integrated with a lot of our products. Uh, you know, Ops Genie, uh, Bitbucket, Confluence, Jira. You had the Slack thing yeah, there as well. Yeah. That was great. Um, but I did find a bug on the third API call in your code. <laughs> um, uh, I, um, with the actual avatars, um, you know, how much do you change the expression based on the input? Is that, is that you know, if you're, is it just random, the, the expression, or is it based on? No. no, they are based on the states they are in. So once they come in, they have expression. Uh, while they are waiting, they are keep going, you know, keep changing the expressions. And for every character, that kind of changes over the time. So somebody can have it in one second, somebody can be pissed off in, in two seconds. Uh, and then uh, once you give them, they have a different expressions. And if you don't deliver them, time is up, then, they give you a different, different exhibition. So there's so a waiting bar there, yeah. and then as soon as it goes from red, yellow, uh, green, but at the red part, they are kind of getting frustrated, yeah. and if you are not able to serve them, they show like the anger. Yeah. Ah. And there's a girl in hoodie, and we could not show it, but uh, she kind of takes the hoodie and she runs away. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, and the, the dog kind of comes separately under the table from, he's like camouflaged, like a human being, but then you are not supposed to serve it, because it's not healthy. Besides, they don't pay, and rather it gives you a negative marking. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's there too. So I just want to echo what Robert said. You used four Atlassian products. That was impressive. You integrated all of them, and then you integrated within Slack. Yeah. I mean, I think it'd be great to be able to pull users out of different yep. areas automatically populated too. My only comment is, one of your prizes is that you get to have lunch with the CEO. And I can tell you from my company, nobody wants to have lunch with me. Like, that would not yeah. be a prize. That would be like a punishment. Yeah. Maybe you should give them real food real or something. Food. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, Team Tasky Treaty. Thank you, everybody. guys. The graphics were amazing. Take on the role of a developer in the saga of the super dev. Explore the game world to find companies that ask challenging questions and provide valuable career tips along the path to becoming the legendary super developer. Close issues in Jira, open or merge, pull requests in Bitbucket, create pages in Confluence, and more to level up. Please welcome Team Saga of the Super Dev. Hello, Berlin. Hi, judges. So let's start presenting the team. Uh, I am Guilherme. This is Petros, and Wesley is on the crowd. We are Brazilians who live in Portugal, and we like to welcome you to the saga of the super dev. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is about living the life of an aspiring developer starting as a trainee until you become the legendary super dev. 
so our inspiration, we were thinking about a, play that, a game that could be played in the long term. So the question was, what lasts, let's say, uh, 15 years or 20 years, and uh, make sense for this context? And then we came up with, this should be related to your career. And uh, also, it should have a meaning f uh, on your real life. So reasons for you, play again. So we thought that you should be learning something in this platform. OK, this question came across. Why Atlassian? Obviously, we are in Atlassian event. But uh, if we were here, <laughs> should, should we do it? And we have found our answer. It's a widely used platform. 200,000 customers spread all over the world. And most of the richest companies are using it. Uh, and they are really expert in software, de software development products. So about, speaking about the, uh, about the products, we have integrated with three of the main Atlassian products. Uh, each of one has a different way of feed up the game. And let's say Jira, uh, every time you close a card, you get 10 points. If you create a, a new page in Confluence, you get 10. If you edit it, you get one. On Bitbucket, we have created one specific page where you can choose any of your repositories. And if you merge your code, you get 10 points. If you open a new PR, you get one. And if this PR gets dismissed, you, you lose one. <laughs> yeah, then don't, don't try to cheat the game. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we, we have built this structure of the project using the four CLI. And we deploy it as a Jira global page and a Confluence global page. That means you can access by going to the top menu. There's an app session. You find us there. There is a trigger to listen events from Jira and Confluence and a web trigger to listen from uh, Bitbucket. And the, we uh, build the, the front end with the custom UI module. Uh, we use the PhaserJS uh, as a game engine. And to generate all the graphics, we use the TIL. So we have an intro page that has a typecast AI human voice. Uh, this is Angela that explains all the rules uh, inside the game. OK, the game has six levels. It's a trainee, junior, mid, senior, expert, and the super dev. Uh, to level up, you have to match the required points, and you have to answer all the questions. There, there are two top bars that you can follow your progress. So for each level, we have uh, a building and block it. This is a company. So uh, we have uh, at least three different soundtracks inside the game. And we have many career devices from characters spread in, in, in the map, try to find and all. It's project managers, QAs, and uh, yeah, many professionals. So I will hand over to Petros to do a <coughs> demo, please. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm going to be presenting our game, The Saga of the Super Dev. Uh, this, uh, you can hear the music. This is an ARPG. It's a Zelda-like game where you can uh, play around the map and explore. And usually, on those types of games, you see people in the city that, uh, if you talk to them, they say something like, oh, don't go to that cave. It has monsters and everything. Well, for us, we have something similar. Instead of saying you should not go to that cave, uh, they are going to present to you a few careers advice, like for the experienced dev, ask for help when you need it. Uh, if you get stuck in something, try for more 15 minutes. And if you're still stuck, you must ask for help. <laughs> Also, you see uh, on, the, on the right a building with a guard. It's because I don't have level yet to go there. I have to go to the first one, which is uh, already available. This changes this music. It plays like a boss battle. We are on the company. People are working. And then we have the interviewer that is going to ask you a few development questions. I'm sorry for anyone that is not on IT, but um, like for example, which type is incorrect in here? I'm going to select uh, an array. It's verifying. OK. Uh, I, I got it right on the top right. I, has, I have answered one of two. 
and what is a flow chart? Um, it's a diagram that represents a set of instructions. Let's see if I got it right. I have uh, answered all the correct answers, and now I'm, uh, I can go to the next level. I can, uh, instead of being a trainee, I can go to junior developer. And how can I do that? Um, that's where Atlassian comes in, and then um, everything that I do on Jira and Bitbucket and Confluence as well, it becomes XP for me. So if I am to go to Jira right now and actually close uh, this, put it as issue as done, let's see this other issue as well as done, and maybe create uh, just an example documentation for, for the for my project. I could not get the Bitbucket open here, sorry, but if I, if I were to merge uh, PR, it will also give, give me XP. So if I come back to the, to the game and refresh it, you can see I've become a junior developer, now I'm a level two. And if I come to, to here, the guard is not there anymore, so I can go to that company and that company is going to ask me uh, questions as well. It's going to get harder and harder and we have a few of these uh, buildings across the map so you can explore. And the last one is this big mansion, is the Hall of Super Devs. And once you become one, you can enter, and there you're gonna see uh, the rankings. And then you can compete against your peers, which are all Super Devs away uh, again. And then you can see PRs, uh, you can see the, the test done and the, the confluence as well. And this is uh, our game. I'm going to pass back to Guilherme. OK, there is one Thank more you. slide. <laughs> so about the future, we thought about some things. For example, character customization, give the, the user the ability to choose different hairstyles, skin color, etc. cetera. Uh, so there are two. Uh, features that we could think. Uh, this uh, requires integration with other things. It doesn't depend only on us. For example, the Atlassian dev community. For example, if you answer some question there and you get some like, for example, you could get points inside the game. Or, for example, there's these this, uh, tech challenge platforms. Let's say there's an algorithm challenge. You get all tests passed on their platform, and then these points could come to your character. There is one more that we are particularly interested. Uh, I will start uh, with this sentence. Great tech team uh, with great uh, business understanding is very powerful. Uh, this, uh, this is because we can create better products and uh, that means uh, happier clients. Uh, there are issues here. Uh, it takes a really long time for a uh, tech team get this business understanding and in our industry we have this uh, high turnover. We cannot work around this turnover, but we, we, we could uh, reduce the learning curve of this business understanding by uh, giving the company uh, the ability to create new questions, and this way they could drive uh, uh, every uh, level what they should be learning. And they could, for example, link some, some questions to some Confluence page after uh, the user read it, it could go back and answer some questions. Uh, that's it, that's our presentation. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Saga of the Super Dev. And I guess you get better clothes and a Lamborghini once you get to the <laughs> top level somewhere. Jeremiah, we're gonna start with you. All right. Um, first of all, I love the layout of the game. It yeah. takes me back to my, my Pokemon days and I played a lot of Pokemon. Um, for the questions that you have to answer as you're trying to make your journey to become a Super Dev, is it language specific? I know I had one language, you call it a list, and one language you call it an array. Do you have a language in mind when you uh, were creating the questions? Well, we have tried to get it uh, as agnostic as, as possible, but it's, uh, it has a tendency towards JavaScript a little bit, but it's trying to be as agnostic as possible. Got it. Points for that. JavaScript, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Robert? I, I love the, uh, the sound, the layout. Um, I also like the fact that not only was a, there is a fun factor, but there's a learning uh, factor there too. Uh, and I think that's really important to your point about the high turnover and, 
getting people to be super devs uh, quickly. Um, uh, is there, I have the, sort of the same question I had before, where is how real time you know, is the, the board affecting the game? Let's say you're playing for a long time. Do you have to hit refresh XP in order to get the information from Jira and Confluence and Bitbucket? Yeah, yes. right, right now it's, it's working that way. Uh, we, we couldn't figure out yet how to do it in real time. So that's why there is the button. But let's see the next steps. OK, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Nora? What do you do with the XPs that you get? Or how does, that, how does the, the data from Atlassian and the questions mixed together, how does that contribute to um, maturing through the letter that you mentioned? It gets harder and, and harder. And it also, I did not show there. But if I get it wrong, I, I'm going to lose XP. And then I, I have to try again. But the, I only can go to the next level if I answer the questions correctly. Is that your question? I think so. So I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how the questions and the data for how many tickets you closed and how many conference pages you opened, et cetera. How does that interlink with the questions? So what, what's the weight between them? Okay. Yeah, I, I, can, I can get XP. I can get, but I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to go to the next level. I can get the maximum XP. And then I'm only going to, like if I'm a trainee and I want to become a junior, I can only go to become junior after I answer the questions, even though I have the XP. Uh, so I need to. Sorry. So. You want to know where the questions come from? Or no, I think, I think okay, okay. just I try to understand how the, so I, my understanding was that the questions provide you also with questions from the business context and the kind of um, uh, additional knowledge, but you also got the tickets and all the information on your day-to-day -day job. I'm just curious how you mix the two together. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, you can lose XP if you like close the PR, right? Uh, yeah, if, if you, you if you do this. some bad things on on, on Jira, <laughs> like, you're gonna lose XP. Cameron. Um, first of all, I, I love just the concept of adding a game. I, I, I see this as a learning management system, like an LMS, but with game on top versus you know, generic, I did my test and I can move on to the next, which I'm sure all of us have to do in our companies. I would love for you to see you apply this to the Atlassian community, for like answering questions and getting and ranking up and getting badges and certifications. So I don't think it has to be specific to Jira issues or Confluence uh, pages. Um, sort of the question, I, I assume are all those questions and the lo like hard coded in or is it something that is flexible where I could come in and put a Yeah, right now, questions? right now it's, uh, it's hard coded, uh, but uh, we were thinking about, you know, getting from somewhere, giving the company the ability to create the questions. Uh, so that's the plan. Great. And how did a bunch of guys from Brazil end up in Portugal? <laughs> well, it's the same language, though, so it's easier for All us. Right. <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> Good enough. Yeah. Um, one of the things I really liked about it, to your point, Cameron, is I find that, you know, uh, customer FAQs or help pages are really static, and people have a hard time going through it. I love the concept of the game, how dynamic it is, and I can see a customer support application for it, where I would go online. I mean. I could get customers to stay on there longer than just going to a simple text-based question. I ask a question here, I get directed there. But uh, really good job with the game. I love the graphics, so that takes me back. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, these teams were fantastic. Let's hear it again for all of them. Yeah. That was a lot of hard work. We appreciate them coming. Thank you to all three teams for your work. Now, we the judges are going to take a few minutes to deliberate and decide who our winners are. But we also want to hear from you. While I join my fellow judges to deliberate, I'm going to ask Sven Peters from Alassian to help us decide today's Player's Choice winner. Please welcome Sven. Thanks, Robert. Wow. Awesome. Teams, what they, what they did, right? Awesome. Um, and thank you all to the judges, right? Give it a hand for, for all so awesome judges here. Yeah. 
So not only the teams can win something here, also you can win something. So you will, you will get an email with a post, uh, post uh, event survey and uh, we will raffle some, some Visa gift cards for you. So please fill out the survey, don't forget that. What we saw today was just like the, the, the tip of the iceberg. I mean, these three teams were awesome, but we got a ton of awesome submissions for Def Unleashed. Um, really, really great submissions. You wanna see them? Let's have a look. Wow, happy music. All right, so unlike in Die Hülle der Löwen or uh, Shark Tank, um, we have an audience, a live audience here, and we want to leverage that. So we're going to give away an audience choice award, right? Um, and the prize is a trip to Las Vegas to Atlassian's Team 23. So the, winning, the, winner, the winner will get a trip to, to Las Vegas for Team 23, our biggest event, Atlassian's biggest customer event. Um, imagine this, but just like a magnitude bigger with going over three days with all the, all the awesome uh, product announcements and customer stories and, and you name it. So there we go to, to Las Vegas. Um, so you can vote for your favorite team now with your hands, with your feet, with your voice. I just like want to hear it. And then we make, we make the decision. Okay, are you ready? Okay, good. So give it now for Team Ticket Adventure. <laughs> all right, all right. Good, 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 good. Um, how about Team Tasky Treaty. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the last one is Team Saga of the Super Dev. Uh, I can't really decide, I can't really decide. Uh, can, can, can we hear it again for Team Saga of the Super Dev? <laughs> All right. I think we're going to see Team Saga of the Super Dev in Vegas then. Thank you very much. Back to you, Robert. I, I wasn't sure who won the choice there. It was not clear. Wow. All right. We finished our deliberation. Let's bring out all the teams again. Come on out, everyone. <laughs> Team Tasky, Ticket Adventures, Saga of the Super Devs. All right, so first of all, congratulations, Super Devs, for winning the People's Choice Awards. All right, here we go for $12,000. In third place, drum roll. 
Wow, that's so good. We have Team Tasky Treaty. Woo! Congratulations. And now there are two teams left. We're going to know who won after I announce the second one. So our second place winner is, drum roll, Ticket Adventure. And that means our winner is Sag of the Super Devs. <laughs> wow. There, there's a lot of Brazilians or Portuguese over here. Woo! How do you say winner in Portuguese? How do you say winner? Vencedor. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much to these amazing teams for unleashing your creativity. All three guys, amazing job in a short time frame. Really appreciate all the work. Thanks again to you, our audience here in Berlin and at home watching virtually. Enjoy the happy hour, although it sounds like some of you already have. And that's it. Have a great day. Thank you.